Hi and welcome to Biostock Studio, where today we will be listening to a presentation from Expression Biotech and CEO Ben Fransen. Welcome. Thank you, Cecilia. My name is Ben Fransen. I'm the CEO of Expression Biotech, and I'm here to pre present to you our company and our focus on a pipeline addressing facial diseases within infectious diseases and cancer. We have just initiated a rights emission, which I will also be telling you more about. So Expression Biotech, we have a, a pipeline addressing uh, vaccines within the infectious diseases and cancer field. We also have a contract research organization, which have generated 60 million sex since we got public listed in 2016. We're focusing on developing vaccines. We have a very unique uh, technology platform, which has a very strong track record. We have made more than 500 recombinant proteins since we started our operations in 2010, with a very high success rate in excess of 90% if you compare with other protein production technologies. We address the global vaccine market, which has increased immensely in the last few years, obviously due to COVID-19. This is also a key focus of our pipeline. We have a COVID-19 uh, vaccine project, which is starting clinical phase three trial this quarter and expecting to complete uh, before end of this year. This is the rights issue that we have just initiated. It's going to de-risk our pipeline focus. We are offering five point, approximately 5.8 million shares at a subscription price of 12.5 a sec per share, which is a 31% discount of the last 10 days average share price. It's a, an offering where for three, uh, sorry, eight shares, you can get three rights, and for two rights, you are entitled to subscribe to one new share. The subscription period is during April 19 to May 3rd, and it's already fully subscribed, and the prospectus has been launched and is available at our website. We aim to raise about 73 million sec, and the proceeds are going to, the half of this is going to uh, support our breast cancer vaccine project, where we're going to complete our preclinical safety studies. A quarter is going to advance our other pipeline projects and our uh, growth services business, and the latter uh, quarter is going to support our technology and IP platform. And speaking of technology platforms, this is the technologies we have at hand today. To the left, you see uh, our Express platform. We spell it like Express with an S2, which you also find in our company name, because we use Drosophila S2 cells. We, these are cells from flu fruit flies, which we have patented a unique protein expression system around. It's 100% IP owned by Expression, and as mentioned, we have a strong track record in using this system for making recombinant proteins. On the other side, we have access to a virus-like particle technology, which is uh, held in the company called Adapmac, which is a company that Expression owns 34% of. It's a very unique super glue system that can attach any protein of interest, for example, proteins that we make in, make in the Express platform, to a virus-like particle. There's no viral genetical uh, components in this structure, so it's completely safe, but the fact that it looks like this, it's very safe and it has, it's highly immunogenic. We use the combination of the Express technology and the VLP technology in our two leading pipeline assets. It's a coronavirus vaccine project that we call ABN-COV2, where we couple the SARS-CoV-2 antigen made in our express system with the VLP. And we also use it in our breast cancer vaccine project where we focus on HER2 receptors and make the HER2 antigens in the express system and couple it to the VLP. Our other pipeline activities in influenza and malaria, we solely use the express system to make the antigens for these vaccines. The coronavirus vaccine project, as you can see, it's very advanced. It has just completed phase two trials through our exclusive licensee, Bavaria Nordic, and it's expecting to, uh, to, to start the phase three trials this quarter. The breast cancer vaccine project has just completed uh, preclinical proof of concept, and we are heading towards the first clinical trial in 2024. 
let me go into more details on these two lead projects. The uh, COVID-19 vaccine, as you all know, it has uh, been a fatal disease that has taken more than 6 million lives in the last two years. The current vaccines available have an uncertain duration of the effect and it's a very cumbersome requirement for storage and handling because they need to be uh, stored at minus 20 to minus 80 degrees Celsius. And the variance of concern uh, is a challenge for these vaccines. We have a solution with our universal vaccine, which can address all of these drawbacks. And the market is incredibly high, now obviously driven by the messenger RNA vaccines recently. So our vaccine that we call ABNCUV2, it's fully outlicensed to Bavaria Nordic. So they sponsor all ongoing clinical development from here. They have just completed a phase two trial here in February, 2022. It showed very favorable safety profile in the close to 200 people that were enrolled. And it showed a very high efficacy in the uh, doses that were chosen. And in, in effect, showed a uh, very strong immunogenic uh, outcome, as we also saw in the first clinical trial that Expression took part in. Furthermore, uh, Bavaria Nordic, they are now embarking on a phase three trial. They have it funded from the Danish state, where, from where they have obtained 800 million Danish kroner or 104 million euro funding. They are in agreement with the regulatory authorities to uh, conduct this trial, meaning that they have, are going to enroll about 4,000 uh, test people in this trial. And the aim is to, to uh, test non-inferiority against licensed messenger RNA vaccines. The manufacturing setup is in place. As mentioned, it's going to be initiated this quarter. And furthermore, importantly, the anticipated completion is before the year end in 2022. This is a very important value driver for expression. Uh, the licensing setup with Bavaria Nordic is such that Adapmac outlicensed the vaccine to Bavaria Nordic and Expression and Adapmac have a licensing agreement. All these covering the two technologies in the vaccine, the VLP technology on one side and the Express technology on the other side. So under these license agreements, uh, Bavaria Nordic, they must pay up to 136 million euro in development and sales milestones to Adapt Bank. And furthermore, single to double digit percentage royalties of Bavarian's revenues. From expression side, we own 34% of Adapt Bank. So the cash flow depicted to the left, we have a 34% ownership of that. Furthermore, under the licensing agreement between Expression and Adapmac, we can receive up to 2 million euro in commercial milestone payments and a double digit, lower double digit percentage of Adapmac's royalty streams. So very important value driver uh, for Expression here in the very near term. Our breast cancer project, which we have fully out, out in licensed from Adapmac in February 2021, and Expression is fully sponsoring this important asset going forward. We are addressing a market which is dominated by monoclonal antibodies today, uh, but they come with some drawbacks. First and foremost, the development of resistance among uh, breast cancer patients that has been known to happen for up to 20 to 30 percent of patients who get no clinical benefit of monoclonal antibodies the potential heart-related side effects, and the administration is very cumbersome, requiring frequent visits to the doctors and hospitals, and it's furthermore quite expensive. All of these uh, disadvantages we are addressing with our vaccine-like approach. <clears throat> we have just here in December and January 21, 22, uh, demonstrated preclinical proof of concept for this important asset. Uh, we show the results here. To the left, you see uh, an animal study in mice, where you have three groups of mice, either a control group or two groups uh, getting our vaccine that we call ES2B C001, without an adjuvant and with an adjuvant. And what is really striking here is the red bar, which is on the x-axis. This is the our vaccine with an adjuvant, showing that during this uh, administration, none of these mice developed tumors at all. That's a very strong preclinical proof of concept. 
to the right, you see in another a mouse model, uh, the survival curves also showing quite strong proof of concept for our vaccine. In the control group, the black line, you will see these mice, which are transgenically disposed to develop breast cancer over time. They eventually will pass away uh, after 32 weeks. Whereas if they are being administered with our vaccine, with an adjuvant, they survive basically all more or less the one mouse that did not survive in week 12, according to our investigator, had nothing to do with our vaccine. So all in all, strong proof of concept for, for the breast cancer vaccine. <clears throat> our financials look like this, as shown uh, the end of Q4 2021 figures. We had nice revenue still from our services business. We are increasing our operating costs, obviously because we are focusing now much more on the pipeline development. And we have a very nice cash position, uh, which can drive us forward to 2023. And basically the reason for the rights issue that we're conducting now is to put cushion into our financial position. So we're able to fully complete the preclinical safety trial during 2023 and thereby de-risking our pipeline development efforts. Here's an overview of our key uh, milestones in the near term. For our coronavirus vaccine, we are very much dependent on Bavaria Nordic progressing on this important project. Uh, they have announced that they will complete the phase three trial uh, within this year, and it should be ready for market launch in 2023, and thereby potentially uh, being a, a revenue driver for both our 34% owned company uh, at that back, as well as Expression ourselves. On the breast cancer project, as mentioned, we have actually announced preclinical animal proof of concept. We're conducting further preclinical pr uh, proof of concept studies that we will announce in this quarter. And then we are rolling onwards with the development, focusing on the GMP, the manuf uh, good manufacturing practice manufacturing and scaling that up. Uh, and also getting the preclinical safety studies initiated this year and completing them in the middle of 2023. So we can hopefully aim for the clinical trial application before the end of 2023. And we expect our first dosing in Maine in early 2024. With respect to influenza and malaria, which I didn't have time to present that much, we are progressing as, as well. Uh, and with the malaria, I just want to highlight that there's a clinical phase one trial that we expect to initiate this year on the PFS 4845 project. And the ongoing RH5 phase one trial, we expect a readout late in 2023. That's it from my part. Thank you so much for a very interesting presentation. A lot of focus has of course been on the COVID-19 vaccine for, for obvious reasons. But there is a sense now, I think, that focus of the world is shifting away from COVID-19. Will there still be an interest for your vaccine? I believe so, uh, definitely. As mentioned, the drawbacks with the current vaccines means that we will see this vaccine popping up again and again, I believe. We even heard Moderna's CEO state that this will take 10 years before we get any any uh, protection across the line globally. So there will still be a strong need for COVID-19 vaccine. And with our vaccine uh, profile with a long-term duration uh, and the fact that it can be handled at room temperature offers some, uh, some strong advantages. Sort of half answered my second question, which was that there are a lot of big players already on the COVID um, vaccine market. What is your strategy to position yourself on that market? Well, we come with a, an approach which is protein based and we couple it to a VLP. So this combination of antigen made in insect cells and coupled to a VLP is a unique approach. We can see we can ge generate very high um, protection and getting very high neutralizing antibodies. We've seen that earlier, both preclinically and in the first clinical trial. If you looked at the similar neutralizing antibody levels with uh, messenger RNA vaccines, we are three to four 
fold higher than, uh, than, than current licensed messenger RNA vaccines. So, so we believe, and Bavaria Nordic, uh, more importantly, believes that we have a strong position to gain market shares in this market. And then finally, a question with regards to the, to the rights issue. The money that you are now raising, how long will that last? How far will it take you? We're going to secure our fi financing through 2023. So I think that's a very short answer. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to come here. Thank you, Cecilia. Bye.